All right, so I want to use this video to show you why Bootstrap can be so cool and why it can get things up and running for us so quickly. This is not designed to show you how to do it per se. Just right now, just get the overall idea of how neat Bootstrap can be for you. All right, so right here I've just created a, in fact, I even copied and pasted and I'll show you where to do it, but I've just created a very simple HTML starter page. Nothing fancy about it. Looks like there's some links to a style sheet and there's some links to some uh, jQuery and JavaScript. I don't even have to know how to use jQuery and JavaScript. I'm just going to create the links to those scripts and, and go from there. So let me just kind of show you. I'm going to, I have three pictures in here and I'm going to use Bootstrap to create a moving carousel. That sounds like a lot of work. How can I create a carousel of images moving across my page? Well, it's super easy. Watch this. So I'm going to go into documentation and I'm going to find components. Like I said, this is just to give you an idea of what can be done. I'll show you how to do it in some subsequent videos. Um, and then I need to go here and I'm going to go to carousel. And if I look down here at the documentation, there's a carousel that has doesn't have a whole lot to it, but it's a slide. But here's a, a carousel that looks like it has some controls with it too. That seems to be the one I want. So I'm just going to copy this code and because it's already provided for me. And I'm going to go into index. I'm going to close, uh, well, I'm going to close it out and leave it here. I'm going to go into the index and I'm going to paste it in here kind of blindly. And as I paste it in, I notice that there are some image source. Well, I know what an image source means. That means I need to put these image names in here. So I'm just going to put in pick one.jpg and then pick two dot jpeg and pick three dot jpeg pick three dot jpeg what has to be a period so just by copying and pasting in that code and changing my images to images that I already have selected by the way they're all consistently the same size that's the key to making this one work now I'm going to hit refresh and without hardly any work now I have a super cool moving carousel So here's another idea. Uh, I'm going to go down to navbar and I'm going to look at all the examples down here and there's an example of a navbar with a with the uh, hamburger. Um, uh, let's see, I was going to choose uh, let's see, well if I make this larger, let's even examine this, if I make this larger, the hamburger goes away. So look, just by using this code, you're telling me that I can have a nav bar that automatically is responsive? What? Let's try it. So I'm going to copy that, I'm copy that, copy that. Uh, let's make this bigger so we can see the whole thing together. And I'm going to put my nav on top of my hello world, that would make sense, so I'm going to control V and just save it and let's look at it just to see if it's working so look I've got a nav bar that's got a drop down cool and then let me see if it makes oh look at that it's responsive and if I click on that check that out so let's see what would I need to do to continue this well let me look at this code uh, lots of things a uh, class okay what would be pertinent to ah looks like an a tag I know what an a tag is I know what an a href is so I could do something like um, HTTP OTC edu I think that's accurate so you mean all I have to do is change code that I already recognize yes so let's try that so now I have a nav bar that has OTC and if I did my code correctly uh, apparently I didn't do my link correctly. Oh, there it is. Yay, I did do my, I thought I made a mistake, but you know, hey. All right, so again, just using code that you already recognize and implementing Bootstrap, I've got this super cool nav bar and I've got a super cool uh, carousel, which also seems to be responsive because it's also getting smaller and bigger with my text. Super cool, wanna see another example? All right, so here's one more example. We just did the nav bar. Now I'm going to try this card thing and see what this is. Cards. So this is just on about every web page out there. We have this idea where we have an image, card title, and we have a link to go someplace. So 
right, I'm gonna copy that. And I'm gonna put it into, I'm gonna put it down here at the bottom. Um, after my carousel, I think I'll put this card in and see what it looks like. So I'm gonna save it, go back to my hello world and see what my card looks like. All right, so it looks kind of cool. So um, I think uh, it's got a style already. Maybe I'll give it a margin top just to kind of override what was already there. I'm gonna go, let's go 25 pixels. So that way I'm kind of pushed off the carousel there. That looks better. Okay, so let me deal with this. What, what can I do to make that look cool? All right, so first of all, I've got source again. So that must be an image source. I know what to do with that. I'm gonna pick pick one.jpg. Um, what else do I need? Car title, um, dog noses. And then looks like some text that I could probably change. Um, dogs are pretty cool. Oh, cool, cook. Okay, let's try that. And then not going to really deal with it. I don't really want a button, so I'm just going to delete that. I don't want a button. It says class equals button. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go back to our page and see what we've got now. So now I've got kind of a cool looking card. So I think this demonstrates to you, first of all, why we're using Bootstrap. Uh, very easy to have created this super cool web page in just a matter of minutes utilizing code that somebody else wrote. And the beauty of Bootstrap is because it is always the same, as you learn Bootstrap, you're going to start to see things that are always consistent. For example, when I created the nav, you're going to start recognizing that code, that class equals nav, nav bar, blah, blah, blah. You're going to look at that pretty quickly and you're going to recognize that immediately as uh, the Bootstrap navigation. And so instead of trying to read someone else's code that might say class equals my nav bar and then going to look into the CSS styling for class my nav bar and trying to figure out how they styled it, because we're standardizing our classes and we're standard standardizing our code to make our web pages look a certain way, it makes it super easy for someone else to come in here and edit your code because of consistency and standardization, which is why it was created in the first place. So enough of this, let me show you how you can too utilize Bootstrap in the next video.